It's fun to bash pale, stale, middle-class males for being entitled AF, especially when they make it so easy. But privilege is complicated. It's not just black and white. Take the current batch of Conservative MPs, a bunch of white men so posh they make Jeeves and Worcester look like Kevin and Perry. So privileged that the House of Commons is how they describe literally everyone else's house. But whoever you are, if you're watching this, it's 100% that you're packing some kind of privilege. And just like a carry-on containing oversized liquids, you gotta check it! Take me. On paper, I'm a triple threat minority, a black queer woman living in post-Brexit Britain. I get to experience sexism, mmm, racism, delicious, or possibly the sexy blend that is misogynoir. Get you a bigot who can do both. Plus, nobody really trusts bisexuals, so I get straight up original homophobia from straight people, biphobia from the queer community, and a whole lot of well-meaning confusion from my mum. <laughs> oh, my mum? Did I mention that she's a first-generation immigrant and that I come from a single-parent family? World's tiniest violin solo! Okay, I'm not actually gonna shrug it off and pretend that all that stuff isn't deep. I've been assaulted, abused in the street, and had it assumed by strangers straight off the bat that I must love chicken and twerking. Which is awkward, because... <laughs> Love a bit of jerk and twerk. But, unlike a lot of people, including some black queer women, I have got a whole lot of privilege going for me too. I'm cis, meaning my gender identity matches up with the one I was assigned at birth. Neurotypical, which means my brain basically works the way doctors expect it to. Able-bodied, I speak English, and through being born in London, I bagged a British passport, which is basically a golden ticket to gain entry to the rest of the globe. A lot of why I'm doing okay today is because I got lucky in the lottery of life. People are really good at seeing other people's privilege, but tend to be pretty bad at seeing their own. It's always my poshest friends who say things like, talking about money is so vulgar. Let's just all split the bill. I had tap water and a salad for a reason, Florence. I'll split the bill when you chip in to heat my house. Also, calling one quality a privilege does kind of make it sound like one end of the spectrum is superior to the other. You say black like it's a bad thing. I love being black. I love having lips. I love seasoning. I love not being able to blush. It makes me so mysterious, so enigmatic. Everyone's asking, what's her secret? What's she hiding? Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's melanin. We've got to stop using privilege just as a stick to beat others with and start examining our own. With great privilege comes great responsibility. <laughs>